Hey y'all, God bless you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious quesa tacos. So let's go ahead and get started with the ingredients that you'll need. You're going to need two and a half pounds of chuck roast, one white onion, four Roma tomatoes, one bunch of cilantro, six New Mexico chiles, and these are the dry chiles. Five guajillo chiles and two pasilla chiles. You're also going to need four bay leaves. You're going to need eight garlic cloves or eight teaspoons of garlic. You're going to need one teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a quarter of a piece of a cinnamon stick, two teaspoons of sesame seeds. two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of ground thyme. You're gonna need salt and pepper to taste. You can use this as much as you like. A quarter of a cup of white vinegar, and I use Oaxaca cheese. And finally, you're gonna need some tortillas. So let's go ahead and get started with the recipe. You're gonna wanna take your chuck roast and cut it into pieces. Um, I cut it into about eight pieces. And then you're gonna put the meat in a pot. You're gonna put half of the white onion and two of the bay leaves in the pot as well. And then you're gonna to wanna to put four teaspoons of garlic into the pot as well. So at this point, you just wanna fill up your pot with water and you wanna fill it up enough to where the water covers all of the meat. And then you go ahead and turn it on about medium high heat and this will cook for about two hours. So next, we're gonna start with making the chile. And I don't like the chile to be really spicy. So I go ahead and um, take out all the seeds and devein the chiles. So I use kitchen shears to do this. I just cut the chile in half and then I empty out all the seeds and I rip out any of the veins inside of the chiles. Be careful when you're doing this not to touch your eyes or anything because uh, you will burn them. So just be careful with that. And just taking out the veins and the seeds is just gonna help to give the chile the flavor but without the spice. If you want things more spicy, <laughs> feel free to leave all of that in. And once I've taken out all the seeds and veins, I just go ahead and rinse them in uh, the pot that I'm gonna cook them in. And then I fill them up with water just to cover them so that all of the chiles are covered with water. And then I go ahead and put that over medium high heat and the chiles will cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're just nice and soft. And while the chiles are cooking, I like to take this time to toast my sesame seeds. So you just put them in a dry skillet over about medium low heat. You don't wanna put the heat too high cause they will burn very quickly. And you just move it around just until they start to kind of change color. So at this point we're ready to blend the chile. So we take all of the chile pods that cooked and we put them in the blender and then here I'm adding the vinegar and I add in the other two bay leaves I add in the sesame seeds and then I add the other four teaspoons of garlic and then I take one cup of the stock 
that the meat is cooking in and I pour that in as well with some salt. And I also have all of the ground spices in here as well, as well as the piece of cinnamon stick. And you just go ahead and blend all of that together until it is nice and smooth. And once it's blended, you're gonna wanna put it into a strainer to strain out any of the chunks um, because you don't want any of that stuff in the sauce. You want it to be a nice, smooth consistency. So I just go ahead and take a spoon and move through all of the, um, the stuff that was in the blender to give me a nice, smooth sauce. So then I pour that into the remaining liquid that the meat has been simmering in. The liquid has simmered down, so you won't have as much liquid as you had when you started. So I just mix the sauce in with the, the liquid and just move it around and that's gonna simmer for about 20 minutes. And while that is simmering, I put my tomatoes in some water over medium high heat to get those cooking and those will cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and soft. And at this point I'm removing all of the meat from the pot and I'm just putting it into this bowl because we're going to shred the meat and that's how you know that your meat is good to go when you're basically grabbing it with the tongs and it's falling apart. That's exactly what you want because you're going to have juicy, tender meat. And I also like to grab a cup of this liquid and put it on the side. And then to shred my meat, I use an electric hand mixer um, just because I don't want to wait for it to cool down. I don't want to use my fingers. I don't want to use a fork. So an electric hand mixer works wonders when it comes to shredding meat. It shreds it literally in under a minute. It's the best hack ever. You all have to try it. And there you go, shredded beef. So at this point, I put my tomatoes in a blender and I just blended them up until they were all nice and smooth. And then I put a strainer over the sauce that we left in the pot and I pour the tomato sauce in and I use a spoon as well to kind of work through it so all the sauce could fall through the strainer. And that's what's gonna give us our consomme. And then I just mix all of that together. And there you have your consomme for the quesa tacos, for the carne. And then we just throw the meat back into the sauce and mix it all up. And then I just let that simmer on very low heat. So now we're ready to fry our tortillas. I just take a skillet and put some vegetable oil in. And I did put a couple drops of the sauce that we had reserved into the oil as well to fry the tortilla. And you don't want to fry the tortilla until it's like super crispy. You want a little bit of crisp, but you also want it to be soft. So then I put some of the Oaxaca cheese on top of the tortilla. And then I take some of the carne and I put that on top of the cheese and I fold it. You see how you can still fold the tortilla, but it's still going to be crispy. So you want it to be kind of like half and half. So as you see here, I put some of the sauce and then I put a little more oil. I found that this works better than dipping the tortilla into the sauce and then putting it into the oil. This way works a lot better. The tortilla does not fall apart and you're able to still have it be soft and chewy, but still crispy at the same time, which is exactly what you want. So then we go ahead and put the cheese on top so that could start melting. And then I take the carne and I put that on top of the cheese. And then I fold it and just let it kind of finish toasting up. 
and then I put that on a plate next to a little serving container of the consomme and I chopped up the rest of the onion that we had so the half of the onion that we had left and I chopped up the bunch of cilantro and I put that inside of the tacos. And there you have it. Here are these super delicious quesa tacos de res. They were such a hit. Moment of truth. Enchilada. It's not an enchilada. It's really good though. Let's take a little. Wow, man. It's good? Yeah. Two thumbs up? Oh, baby, so good. Thumbs up?